the end in Artifices, part two of Fixiones, one afternoon, Recabaron, a paralyzed shop owner, lies in bed in a room next to his shop. In the shop, a guitarist plays the guitar. Recabaron recalls the guitarist's arrival some time before. He engaged in a song contest with another man and lost. Just after the contest, Recabaron was adjusting a load on a mule when his right side had suddenly died and he lost his power of speech. Now Recabaron uses a cowbell to communicate his needs. The guitarist has continued to hang around the shop since his defeat, playing the guitar without singing. Recabaron notices a horseman approaching on the plain, who soon enters the shop and speaks to the guitarist. It's clear they've been waiting for one another since they last met seven years ago. The horseman recalls advice he gave his children at the time. One man should not shed another man's blood. Then they get down to business, the guitarist's revenge. Destiny has put a knife in my hand, says the horseman. He makes other veiled threats as the two leave the shop. The guitarist says, perhaps this time it will go as hard on me as the first time. Outside on the plain, the moon is shining, and the guitarist reveals the horseman killed his brother seven years before. He asks the horseman to put all your guts into this encounter. The narrator reveals the horseman's name, Martin Fierro. He's the hero of the epic poem, The Gaucho Martin Fierro, well known in Argentina. Recabaron watches from his cot as Fierro and the guitarist fight with knives. The guitarist loses his footing, but rallies and stabs Fierro in the chest. Fierro falls and does not get up. The guitarist then wipes his blade on the grass and walks away without looking back. The narrator says the guitarist has become the stranger. He had no further mission on Earth, but he had killed a man. In the prologue to part two, Borges says he invented only the character of Recabaron. Not only do the characters of the guitarist and Martin Fierro come from the epic poem The Return of Martin Fierro by Jose Hernandez, the events of the story take place seven years after the end of it and are also, as Borges says, implicit in the poem. The end revives the Fierro myth, returning him to duel with strangers and a harsh, lonely death. Implicitly, that same fate now awaits the guitarist. This could mean the end is a parable about vengeance, an act that puts an end to injustice or punishes the wrong, only begins a new round of vengeance. The guitarist's ability to assume the place of the dead Fierro also connects to the Borges theme that any man is all men.